Come on in. Come on in. You should have never said that. Uh, this is the masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're currently in the middle of the woods right now. We are at Markov's Haunted Forest. It is time for the behind the scenes special. We're going to show you behind the scenes of what it takes to run one of the top haunts in the entire country. They're celebrating their 30th year. We're going to show you the ups, the downs, how they build a lot of their special effects and animatronics. People never really get to see how haunts happen. So I'm really excited to show you guys what they have in store for this year. So on that note, it's time to roll the intros. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the director of operations. Hey Tucker, can you breathe? Hi, I'm Danny. I make nightmares come true. I'm Kayla, and I do the makeup and costumes here at the town. <laughs> I'm Miranda, and I don't work here anymore, but I still use the porter potties. I'm LP, and I'm the general manager. And you're doing a fine job. I'm Adam. And I'm one of the lead set designers. Hi, I'm Rania, and I'm the lead set designer. Hi, my name's Chris, and I'm in charge of makeup. I'm Gumby, and I'm Brokeback. And, and we're, we're in charge, charge of, of the, the town. town. I'm a bird. I'm a plane. I'm a boss man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> My name is Nick Markoff. It's been 30 years. Let the interviews begin. Yeah, okay, sure. Now we're we... Sorry. Okay, everyone. 30 years. Yay. How long have you worked for the company? Forever. This is my 16th season here. The 11th year at Markos. 14 years. This is my 26th. Well, it's also my 10th year. <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> we know. If anybody doesn't know, it's Kayla's 10th year here. How many years have you been here, LP? It's 2005, so someone do the math. It's year seven. I think for both Danny and I. Yep, seven. This is year four for me. 30. Whoa! All right, so where did Markov start? <laughs> Started right there in that bus. <laughs> well, we drive the bus around, we decked it all out inside like it's a haunt. A lot of things you had to crawl under, crawl over, tunnels. We actually had chainsaw in there, trees. So we would go down to neighborhoods. The kids would love us. The cops would be pissed at us and chase us out. But the lines were long. Was it permitted? No. What's the theme for this year for Markov's? The theme for this year for our 30th is... Uh, delight. There's just some random family here. Who is this family and why are they here? They were from a photography gallery in the mall that was closing down. So we got we got the call, come in and get what you want. And Paul really wanted those pictures. I got an idea. We're gonna reuse all those family portraits. We're gonna put them in the bathroom. And then I gotta convince the Markov squad that, to take a family portrait so I can put it in the bathroom with it. I feel like it's a really dumb idea, but <laughs> why not? It's cool. Big lump of knobs that has the juice. Has the juice. Look at it. It's corn, yeah, it's corn. Now, the haunt season starts so early. Markoffs, they start, they go to a thing called Transworld. It's a horror convention. Many ideas were planned. John, you're sitting there waiting yes. for Yes. And then many different props were bought during that time. All right, Paul, final purchase of the day, what'd you get? We got... Oh, some teddy bears? Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, you, you got a nice jail teddy bear. <laughs> Things are getting weird. Then throughout the year, since it's an outdoor haunt, they have to maintain everything. It's currently in uh, June right now. What happened over here? But the wind happened. The wind just knocked it down. Yeah, a little wind gust came through. We're gonna cut to this magically being rebuilt. Ta-da! And then there's the preparation and created new scenes, and uh, that's where we are now. What has been your greatest achievement over these 30 years at Markov? Not dying. I mean, for Nick, definitely not dying. Right, this what? is behind the scenes of uh, doing the intro for Nick. He's going full on Larry David in the Seinfeld episode wearing the cape. I know Kayla said she'll try anything twice, but this is just once. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Ah. He's come so close so many times. <laughs> leaving us with this empire that we wouldn't even know what to do with that. I'm run over by my four-wheeler, uh, trailer ran me over, and Paul come out and stitch me up. Sewing up the boss's head. Yeah. I hope he's gonna be the first person like to test this out to make sure it works. They're just using him as a crash test dummy. I have an idea for this year. I have this idea of making a head with like a corn cob sticking out of its mouth. Now, since Markoff's makes everything pretty much in-house, they create all their props and most of their effects. I want to kind of document the process from like my idea to it actually showing up in the haunt. I feel like that'd be pretty interesting, right? All right, so what's going on with the corn? It's not looking... <laughs> no, no. What, what happened to all the corn? Oh, the corn's fine. It's, that's normal, right? <laughs> uh, no, so corn will get worms if it's not sprayed. We don't actually raise this corn for feed. It does go to our hogs, so we don't waste it, but it's not intentionally 
is intentionally grown for the corn maze. Um, so when you get worms in the end like this, they start eating it and getting it real gross. Oh, you want, should we see if we can find another worm? Corn worm. I'm guessing by that hole right there, we got a, we got a worm in here. <gasps> there it is. Oh. There it is. It's an alien worm. Oh, look at him. Oh, well, it's just a small guy. That's just a small guy doing his thing. Mystery pack. What, it is. What, what did we get? Did you get the chaser? It's in here. It's been going to town, but where, where'd he go? Where are you, worm? And then we're trying to find a good piece of corn to cast. I think this might be the one, the lucky little corn. What, what do you want to name this little piece of corn? I need more TP for my corn oil. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hey, horsey. How are you? He's a big puppy. Who's a big puppy? What is going on with this corn? <laughs> This is scary. Are you guys comparing your corn right yeah. now? Well, his is longer, but mine's thicker. Which would you rather have cast? What is your favorite prop from the entire time you've worked here? There's a secret prop that's on the way that I'm not, I'm not going to reveal right now because it's going to be revealed later. That's probably going to be one of my favorites. It's an enormous installation. That would be wonderful. Looking forward to it. So, what's the verdict on the prop? We, we bought it in March, Gavin. And when did they say it was going to be here? Oh, they're still working on it. What? You, you open on, on the 30th? Yes, Brandy, when I called you two weeks ago to ask where the prop was, um, you said, oh yes, we're just waiting on the suit, and now you're telling me, well, you've got the bottom half done, and you're waiting on the top. Oh, you're in Maryland? Oh yeah, we really got to get on this. So when is it going to be here? She's going to call me back. They're still working on it. The fat dude? The fat dude. No. What do the you mean they're still working? We bought this at Trans World. We bought this in March. It's September. Are you kidding me right now? Eventually. Good news. Oh my god. There he is. The guy we ordered from Trans World is finally here. Caleb, you definitely fit that. I could belly. literally, I could. This looks so bizarre like this. Dude, Look at this. Them. And there's the inside of him. How's the weather in there? Um, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> when did you give him a uh, placenta? <laughs> That's a good question, Kevin. He's a big baby. He just never uh, disconnected. Wait, what are you doing there, Danny? I am, uh... uh okay, I have... Don't worry about what I'm doing. He just ripped that board off the building, yep. <laughs> Last May, everybody didn't know, there I was a tragic... Know. Yeah, the United States was hit with a tragic announcement from know. Dunkin' Donuts that they discontinued hazelnut swirl. So now it's caramel swirl. Mm. It's not as good, but what? I have emailed several times to Duncan Corporate. I believe that. Can we do one more story? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what is your fall coffee order? So my coffee order doesn't change throughout the season, the year. Like it's all three seasons is the same. I get a medium iced coffee with cream and caramel swirl. Four pumps cream, four pump caramel. So we're gonna cast the corn. Time to make some corn, Kevin. So what Griffin's gonna do is he's gonna put part A into the popcorn bucket. So you can make corn from popcorn. We are going to be very accurate. Okay, so what's the difference between A and B? It is a two part formula, Kevin. We must have equal parts of part A to part B. Now we shall mix the corn to make sure it is nice and um... Evenly dispersed in solution. Right now I'm gonna pour the silicone into the corn. I mean onto the corn. I mean into the bucket. So we're pouring slowly and letting the goo rise. I wonder what the comments are about to say about this clip. <laughs> the corn is in there now, now we wait. While you guys are doing all this hocus pocus and uh, mixing things, I'll be out here with the mussels. I'm gonna hit myself in the head. <laughs> Doesn't it go in the... Well, you can't because the rope is here. You see, we'll cut the rope. I'm sorry, I'm not good at putting things in holes. And it will cut the rope, so you have to kind of make shift your own. And go like this. <laughs> yep, the mold is hard. Hard corn. Peel all this stuff off. <laughs> corn hole. Uh, they're now having to cut incisions to get the corn out to then start making the mold. I don't know if it's gonna come out. That's the inside of a corn mold. I mean cornhole. I mean corn mold. So now we're able to mold it. We can make as much corn as we want now. We can. We can make corn wallpaper. I am putting part A of the expandy foam as a container. And then we'll have a part B. We have a lot of A, B things going on here, Kevin. Okay. A has gone into B. A has gone into B. And we are going to have a reaction. Science exothermic foam stuff. I have about 30 seconds to mix this before it starts to go. It's a two pound marine expanding foam. It expands 16 times this little bit of liquid. That's your science for you. Into the corn hole. So that little bit of liquid's gonna expand and turn into a giant corn cup. Roll it around in there. Hopefully it'll get all the detail real nice. What's happening in there? Let's go outside! Oh God. Too much! Oh, it's oozing out right now. 
but I think we mixed a little bit too much in there. This might be the scariest thing here. This is probably second scariest. Oh, disrespect. All right, it's now uh, dried and foamed up. All right, ready for the big reveal. Where girl? I don't know, but it's got a chef. Oh, I see corn. That's some ASMR right there. Pull out the corn stalk. I see that looks pretty good. Yeah, a little paint. It'll look yeah. legit. Uh, we're almost there. This is crazy deal we had in the morning. Now we're going to paint it. Warm out. All right, now we're going to be taking a family portrait and putting them all in the bathroom. So we got everybody to wear a top hat. We're here. now going to Staples to uh, print out this picture for the bathroom. <laughs> what did you just say? They are handsome, but they're not that handsome for you to stare at while you're using the bathroom. All right, we have the photos. So now we have to replace this one because it's all going to be families that we're going to put in there. I have cut the print. I think this might be one of the dumbest ideas we've ever come up with, but hey. Okay, time for a little MTV Cribs. Keep closed. The heat is on. Thanks, management. So we have the guy who started it all. This random photo that was just in this bathroom forever. He came from somewhere. He was just sitting on a table out in the hallway and I went, I don't even know. This is going to be awesome. Let's put it in the bathroom. And people are just going to go, who is this guy? And it'll just be a mystery. I have framed it. He's now a landmark. Uh, and then over here. We have this wonderful family. Then we have this family. She doesn't look too pleased to be placed here in the bathroom. And then we have the little family photo. You got Brooke back with the top hat. You got Paul, you got Nick, and you got Chris. Turned out pretty well. Oh. You took pictures without me in them? I want to be in You them. weren't here. That's how we Can called we you. Him in so that's going to surround you while you're <laughs> going to the bathroom. These are so oh my God, he's framed? <laughs> You framed the guy? I did. Oh my god, and then ah, ha, 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 this is the masterpiece. Chris is giving me the stern British eye going, huh, do you do things with that? Okay, it's now almost 10 at night. We're still working on the corn. You look how spot on that is. All right, now it's time to make the head for the body that the corn will go into. So we will have a head very soon. So what's been the biggest struggle this year? I don't know. I feel like this year has actually been the smoothest. How did the weather affect you guys building this year? Like how many things did you have to fix? Three. Circus had a tree fall through it. I think we're going to need a new roof. Graveyard had a tree fall through it. Viking had a tree fall through it. Don't forget about the bridge. Oh, the bridge fell. So how much time goes into just fixing what the weather has destroyed? All the time. All the time? Every about 30 seconds? Uh, yesterday I had at least two airlines explode. One of which was I was walking right over to it. That. Lines with air in it, not airlines. Got uh, like almost 200 psi. Go. Oh, and all of a sudden. So yeah, it's being outside. Weather takes a toll. Things get worn out and it's rough. So oh, yeah. it's a constant battle of fighting the elements. But also like the the props. The props get beat up real good. I mean, they get a good wind. They'll get knocked over. They take out corn. You have tornado. Oh, we had a tornado here. Not awesome. And then you just have the normal rain where it just digs into the walkways, and then you have to redo all the walkways while people are walking on them. So, weather's fun. I know the elements are the worst part of doing an outdoor hunt, but it's also the best part. We get to work outside every day. Boom! You see that work? After this, I'm gonna go sit down for a little bit, eat another crumble cookie, and uh, contemplate what I'm gonna do next. I don't actually know what I'm getting yet. I'm. It's for the front circle. Come on into my shop. It's kind of cool. It's gonna be kind of cute. Oh, caddies! Can't forget my friends. Yeah, we we got kind of a packed little cart here. Holy save, heading back. Nick was like, "Go get some stuff to decorate the front circle with." He should have never said that. Cause I'm gonna go all out. So now we have decorations. What area are you working on? This is in the front circle. This is our picture a picture moment and tasks to decorate it like Martha Stewart. Hello! <laughs> Hello there! Welcome to Martha's Hunted Forest. <laughs> Can you see my face? Does the lighting work or not? Oh. Oh. Coffee break. A little overboard with it. But no one's going to take these from us. So we gotta drill a hole in his mouth to stick the corn cob in. Drill away! Ah. New merch this year, Paul. What, what do we have? We have our 30th anniversary Maryland themed haunted forest shirt. Look at the back. Isn't it fantastic? Ooh! Hi, Brokeback. How's it going? I'm good. Are you here? <laughs> Alright, so it looks like you two are about to start a little podcast together. So what are you about to do, boys? Say something dirty on a on audio for a prop. Come saying? on in. Oh, well, you do that better than I do. You want to do it together? We could have an acapella. <laughs> come on in, come on in. <laughs> oh. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> Quiet. I'm playing with my organ. 
Quiet! I'm playing with my organ. It's two in the morning and we have this this dumb idea. But we're gonna see if this works. We, now we're gonna go over to the town and uh, set up an animatronic and see if this joke works. Am I ready? Set. Are you ready? Hit it. And uh, Gr Guru is up here, looking over his little minions. What do you want for dinner? Frankenberry, whatever. What do you notice, Chris? Uh, it's got a bum for a head. It's a furry little bum, too. It I will is. never be able to unsee that now. It looks delicious. <sighs> this smells like childhood happiness. Artificial strawberry flavor really gets your day going. Um, tastes like fifth grade happy. Are you doing scary stuff? Sometimes you gotta eat scary. There's probably bugs all over this. Is that just a giant pepperoni? Yes. And Cutco. The corn has now been stuck into his head. Now it's time to paint him. So what's the hardest part about painting skin? Trying to get the right skin tone to match the human being. But technically since he's dead, it's actually not that important right now. So Kayla, what are you doing now? I'm making it look like his eyes have been gouged out. Taking some latex and some cotton. I soaked the cotton in the latex and now I'm just pulling it to give it the texture and then it's gonna have to dry. It's corn. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla has painted the eyes now. Look how gnarly those look. And the neck. We have to reinforce the corn now. What are you putting inside of it right now? Two of these giant six inch timber locks that are <laughs> taped together and hopefully that will Keep that corn in place. Yeah, extra blood's going on it right now. All right, so when you're walking by the moonshine, you will now see this poor man got a cornhole he This whole process showed you that anything that is created at a haunt or anything creative, right, it takes a lot of time and effort. Sometimes it takes giant teams just to do small little details like this. So when you're walking through haunts, just try to appreciate the little details when you're walking by because it took multiple days sometimes to create things like that. Any last words? Is this the farmer's market? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think has been the most important thing for the success of Markoff over these three decades? I think the fact that it's family run and you treat it like family. It's still flying around me. Ooh, it's in your... <laughs> Overall being, you know, one great big family hanging out together, having fun. Why do we have to put it up higher? Well, now that's like a... that's like a shirt. <laughs> All the hard work doesn't seem so much hard work. You know, when you're together with friends, it's... <laughs> Oh that was so well, fun. Yeah. Okay, turn it off, Chris. It's a lot easier to do the longer nights to kind of, you know, egg each on to do that little bit extra work and, and get it done because we need to do that. And it's, yeah, I think it's the bonds, the closeness. Our hands are falling off. We're so I mean, busy. That's, that's pretty impressive for a haunt to make it to 30 years. And start in a bus, and now we're in a huge field and forest. Yeah, we've grown so much in 30 years, and we continue to grow every year, and it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Which, we got a 120 pound <laughs> on us. <laughs> I, I got an <laughs> cheek I'm holding on right now. Oh, oh, can you right. oh, oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I can't move my knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh, it has the juice. It has the juice. Okay guys, don't get upset. This is the end of part one. Part two will be dropping next week of the Markov's Haunted Forest behind the scenes special. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I love the family. Is that what I was gonna say? <laughs> I've been drinking these skulls. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things spooky and scary around the country. I right, guys, I love y'all and I'll see y'all very soon. Big lump of knobs that has the juice. Has the juice. Where the worms come from? Space? I don't know. Ground? Space? <laughs> They're alien worms. <gasps>